advice in business and technology solutions. Thank you for taking a look at our three minute blog. We present these blogs to small business owners and accountants to provide information on tax codes that are either overlooked or misunderstood. Today we're going to discuss medical reimbursement arrangements. We'll start with Section 125 plans, better known as cafeteria plans. In this blog, we will focus on health savings accounts, or HSAs. HSAs must be combined with high deductible health plans. By starting an HSA, business owners can reduce FICA taxes, payroll taxes, and workers' compensation insurance costs because pre-tax contributions reduce payroll. Business owners and or their employees can contribute up to $3,300 per year for individuals and up to $6,550 per year for families. And the money can be placed into an interest-bearing account. Also, unspent money rolls over from year to year. Perhaps the best selling point to the employees is that they too will realize a tax break because the pre-tax contributions will reduce their stated income. Now here's something that you probably didn't know about health savings accounts. Contributions for the current tax year can be made up until April 15th of the following year. And that's something to think about for next year's tax. For more information on the tax benefits of a health savings account, contact us at 310-631-1106 or go to bisonbiz.com and schedule an appointment online. Once again, I'm Walter Hines. Thank you for your time and look out for our next three-minute blog which will be a continuation of medical reimbursement arrangements focusing on flexible spending accounts. Bison Business and Technology Solutions, your problems, our solutions.